Yo, what's up guys? I go by ZV Endor and today I'm gonna to be showing you how to quickly throw some auto-tune on your vocals. We're gonna be going from this. She wanna come mess my life up. I let her come my way. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. To this. Ooh, she wanna come fuck my life up. I let her come my way. So let's get straight to it. So first things first, what is Auto-Tune? Auto-Tune is a plugin or an app you can put on your vocals that will automatically tune your vocals. Hence the name Auto-Tune. The actual name of the device is called Pitch Correction. Auto-Tune was made by Antares, which has a giant chokehold on the Pitch Correction plugin. But to be fair, they do a really good job. So today we're gonna be using Antares' Auto-Tune effects Three. This is an older version, but I really like the sound of it. So that's what we're gonna be using today. The robotic sound you hear on the auto-tune plugin, like you hear in those T-Pain vocals, is basically the plugin trying to bring your notes closer to the correct note of the song. Some people need more auto-tune than others. Like myself, I am trash at singing, but we don't judge here. Okay, enough talking. Let's go straight to the DAW. All right, so this is Auto-Tune FX3. This was about $100. You can use your DAW's free pitch correction plugin, but for the most part, you're gonna be getting the same buttons and knobs. So we're just gonna use Auto-Tune FX3. So before anything, you need to know the key to your song, the key and the scale to your song so the auto-tune can get to work. Without the key or the scale to your song, auto-tune will not know what notes you want your vocals to be pulled towards. That wild little intro you got in the beginning was because I did not have the correct key or scale to my song. So I know the key to my song is E and the scale is in minor, so my song is in E minor, hence me putting E minor on the auto-tune device. If you don't know the key or the scale to your song, don't worry, this is why I am here. Most of the time we get our beats off YouTube and the producer will be letting you know what the key and the scale to your song is. And I'll show you guys an example. If we look closely on this beat I found from YouTube by this producer named Aravada, who is great, go check him out. He gives us right here in the description the tempo of the song and the key, which is in D major in this case. But sometimes producers don't give you the key and the scale, unfortunately, so we have to do a little bit of detective work to figure that out. What we do is we use another plugin to find the key and the scale. I have a video that I'll leave right up here in one of these links up top that will help you in great detail to find the key and the scale to your song. But to sum it up for you a little bit, what you need to do is you need to find the notes to the instrumental that you got from YouTube or the instrumental you made and you need to bring it to a separate app and that app will tell you the notes that are in your instrumental. Then from there you find a scale and then you plug those notes in and then you guess as to what the key to your song might be. It's not as hard as it sounds, trust me. If you need a little more help, go check out that link up top. So once you find the key and the scale to your song, you go right over to your auto-tune you plug in that key, like we said, mine is an E, right? You plug in the scale, mine is in minor, right? And then you're good to go. For fun, let's look at Logic's stock pitch correction plugin. It looks a little bit different, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at the root, right? Which is root note, which is sort of like key. Well, first we have to actually change the scale. So let's go to scale. Let's go to natural minor right here which is essentially the same as minor scale, right? If it was a major scale, we'd go to major scale. We go to natural minor, right? And then the letter we'd find is E. So it'd be E natural minor. These will give us essentially similar sounds. What we wanna do next is we wanna play with this retune speed. So the faster we make this retune speed, the more that robotic T-Pain effect we will get. The slower you make your retune speed, the less auto-tune effect you will have on your vocals. So if you're a better singer and you don't need that much help, then you might wanna make this retune speed a little slower. In Logic Pro X's pitch correction, you play with this 
response time. If you look real closely, you'll see slow and you'll see fast. The faster you make it, the more of that robotic sound you will get. Let's take a listen to the auto-tune in action. So if I turn on my input monitoring, you'll hear a little bit of that robotic sound. The slower I make this, the more of my actual vocal you'll get. Now watch what happens when I move this retune speed from slow to fast. Let's take a listen to how my voice changes and you'll hear more of that robotic sound. That's the auto-tune plugin trying to pull my vocals to the notes that I have set up here that are in E minor. All right, let's turn that off. Okay, a couple other things you wanna look at when tuning your vocals is voice type. Most people are alto tenor, but if you have a super deep Shaquille O'Neal type voice, you wanna to go to baritone bass. If you have a super high pitch voice, you wanna to go to soprano. Most people in the middle-ish range are alto tenor, right? You click alto tenor. Now this stuff down here is specific to auto-tune effects, so we won't touch it. But if you are in auto-tune effects, I advise you go to hard effects to give you that more auto-tune-y sound. And I like to keep my human eyes at around 50 to 100. If you're on Logic's pitch correcting device, you wanna to go to normal voice. If you were that baritone, bassy, Shaquille O'Neal type sound we were talking about earlier, you wanna to go to low. Most people are at normal. And really that's it for auto-tune. If you found any of this advice helpful, leave a like. And for more music related tutorials by ZV's Universe, hit subscribe. Till next time.